That's a tree with a vine. Let's see if I saw them. That's a tree. Alright, so that tree is right in the background. So, my personal spot is behind them, just 50 steps from here. Here's my personal camp area, my personal spot. It's on a hill. I know that a hill is not the best place to camp because if it rains, the water always gonna run down down to the lake. Let's see. This is probably a provisional area, you know, where I could practice my skills. So right there is my spot down there. This is actually flat terrain. So let's continue. Going this way. There are a lot of huckleberry bushes here, so that's actually good too. A lot of debris. Let's check that area. I have half of the shelter built down right there. You know, that could be the back of my shelter. Huh, I'll look over there. Yeah, look at that branch right there. It's just waiting to fall down. It's not a good spot. Even though I have the half of the frame for my shelter I have that danger over my head so let's continue I actually like this area over there I have the lake I'm on the top of the hill I don't have branches above This tree falls down, so it makes a good clear. Mm -hmm. Have a lot of building material to make a shelter. I have this stump right here where I could make my fire pit just in the same way I did the, the other. Or I could use that. So let's start cleaning this area. I'm gonna use this to cut some of the branches and some of the vines. I have this vine going down here to there.
lot of material. All right, guys. So halfway into the cleaning of my new spot. So if you remember, there was a lot of branches and vines. So what I did is I actually tried to clean this tree from all the vines, clean all that area, put all the vines on top over there and the rest of the vines right there. Then I made me two piles of material, so big, medium sized branches over here and big branches over here. I also make a spot with small branches that I could use for fire. I'm gonna try to make me a fork from here, from this branch so I could clean all this. This, this spot, no wind, good sunlight, natural cover, this time for the one, had that tree, that's like a wall, natural wall right there, I have another wall right here, so I just w need to build me uh, a shelter over here then I have my flat spot right here that I just clean up with my wilderness fork <laughs> okay. then I have my pile of medium sized wood and my big sized wood right here and then the smaller one for the fire pit Will be used as cordage, natural cordage. I'll use it for to build my shelter. Found me a big branch right there. Just cut it down into a Y shape. Then I got this second pole, and I'm gonna put. This one, the third one, probably that one as a fourth. Okay, I'm gonna use this natural material. This is the roots and this tree that is right here. Just harvest some of the roots. I'm gonna use it to last this down. This stuff is natural cordage. Really? Yeah. Really tight. Look how hard is that. This is the latches that I did with the roots. They secure everything with roots. Okay. 
Okay, this is the frame of my shelter. Nice and secure. Let's gonna test. Yes! It holds my weight. I made a TP shelter out of hardwood. Then I use roots for my lashing. And the second stage of the shelter is gonna be to use pine that is a soft wood and that will you know I'm gonna try to put the pine all around the main poles that will give me a better structure and uh, it will protect me from rain and on top of that I'm gonna add pine needles or debris or leaves and make this waterproof the next stage is gonna be to build or are planning to build a chimney over there and this is gonna be my main fire pit well this was a great great day so I built me the frame of my shelter I had the water over there I'm on the top of the hill uh, I have a good visibility all the way around so that's south, that's east, that's my north, and that's west. And on top, I have this beautiful tree. Right there is my shelter, my new area. I'm gonna use this next time to build the roof. Okay, these are my landmarks. The shelter is right below that that dead tree in the middle. So this is the dead pine. This is the huckleberry bush. And I need to continue down from here until my previous spot and then down to the lake.